Hello, I'm Dr. Fred Travis. I'm director of the Center for Brain, Consciousness, and Cognition. I look at brain functioning to understand conscious functioning. So, Fred, you did some work with Olympic athletes. Can you share um, your findings? Yes, we did some work with Olympic athletes in Norway. We looked at world-class athletes who won gold medals in Olympics, national games, or world games for at least three seasons consecutively, compared them with competitors who did not consistently place. And so we're looking at what is it that allows one person to have that extra edge over the others. Because physical training is very similar, but there's something which allows the gold medal winners to stand out. What, uh, what exactly did you figure out what that was? Studies? Well, what we found is a number of differences between the world-class athletes and the control athletes. The world-class athletes, the way their brain was functioning was distinctly different. It was more integrated. It was functioning more as a whole. Also, they were less affected by stress. They're, they were able to um, accommodate to stress, to deal with stress much more easily. Also, quite interesting, we found they had higher levels of ego development, higher levels of moral development. And I think all of these together are showing just a more developed person as a whole, mind, body, spirit. Can you uh, comment on alpha bursts? We've heard a lot about alpha bursts with athletes. So alpha bursts have been seen in athletes. Um, some good research done in archery and also in riflery, where they can look at just before the point of action. And they found just before the... Um, the marksman pulls the trigger just before the archer lets go of the arrow. There's a burst of alpha across the whole brain. And what the alpha frequency is in terms of numbers, it's brain waves that go up and down 8 to 12 times per second. What that is indicative of is inner wakefulness. And so it's an inner presence before you actually perform the action. And what's found is the rising and falling of the alpha wave actually time locks and coordinates the rising and falling of faster frequencies. Faster EEG frequencies would deal with the actual performance that's done. So what that means is the, the, the marksmen is, are able to not be lost in the um, objective experience outside but be very settled inside and then the whole motor system unfolds. So they're relaxed but very alert. They're able to to focus better and to do the task. Yes, yeah, so let's look at that. We have an example of the whole motor system here. Here we have a picture of the brain. The brain's looking at me. And here, one, two, and three, these are the three main components of the motor system. This is the top of the brain. It's the motor cortex. This is where you actually plan the steps that you're going to do. As you rehearse it, it goes down here deep into the brain. That's why it's on a dotted line. It's called the basal ganglia, is the neuroscience name for this. And this is motor memory. So this top, of the surface of the brain, the motor cortex, decides what the steps are. As you practice them over and over, it gets chunked together here in motor memory. When it actually goes out, the bottom part here, the cerebellum, comes into play, which smooths the outflow. So whenever you're doing any type of motor performance, it's this vertical outflow which is happening. Now notice there's two other parts of the brain, this back part of the brain. So that's the sensory area. Uh, vision is here, touch is here, hearing is here. You're creating a picture of what's outside. The front part of the brain here, notice I've labeled it CEO. Now that's not a neuroscience term. It stands for Chief Executive Officer. This part of the brain actually integrates all the parts of the brain. This part of the brain is constantly evaluating, constantly stopping, constantly changing direction. When you're doing any type of overlearned motor task, you don't want this part of the brain to be active. This part of the brain is what causes all those thoughts and worried thoughts and will I catch the ball or will I hit the ball. What you want is this part of the brain to be quiet and allow the motor system to just do what it's been trained to do. Is that the prefrontal cortex? So the CEO of the brain, the official name in, in neuroscience is prefrontal cortex. All of this is a front of the brain. This top part is moving the body. The prefrontal cortex is more thinking and planning. So 